Hello, dear viewers of Strawberry Patches Podcast. My name is Marina and I'm your host today. Um, this podcast is about knitting fiber related crafts like spinning, yarn dyeing and crocheting. And today I will take you with me to the first time um, to a... Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> to a fair um, here in New Zealand, Auckland, where there will be amazing yarn dyers, felters, knitters, crocheters, all kinds of crafty, amazing, awesome people. And it will be the first time that I will be selling my own hand dyed yarn. And I want to take you with me. Um, Normally I talk about uh, my finished objects and uh, progress, works in progress, but I think this episode will be totally devoted to this fair. So I'll go and try to make as much footage for you as I can. And if you're wondering, I'm wearing my Finnish Slip Stravaganza Show by Stephen West. It was a mystery in the long 2020 and I managed to finish it just in time for the show. It is uh, made in my hand dyed colors. There are one, there is one main color which is pink and there are three contrast colors that you can see here. So come with me and let's enjoy the show. Good morning everyone, it's the morning of the 7th of November, it's 8 o'clock and I'm here at the Green Hyatt Village Hall and over here I'm going to have my first time meeting you guys and showing off my beautiful yarn. So, um, you want to see how we are setting up the tables? Let's go. Sign in. Everything's <laughs> getting ready. The prizes. Here we are at my table and uh, today only you can get two skeins as a prize if you buy any of my skeins. And here are some socks that I knitted up to show the colorway of my hand dyed yarn. All the skeins are looking pretty with their new labels, all ready for to be squished and admired <laughs> and fondled by you guys. I love how all the colors are looking. I'm pretty happy. And here are the papers where you will write your names to be in for the draw for the giveaway. We are all set up to go and I'm going to show you the ruffle prizes. They were amazing collection of hand dyed yarns and baskets of food and everything. And here are the tickets and I purchased 10 of them. And I even got the prize, I will show you later, maybe in the next episode. You can also get some plants here, which are very unique and local. Some fleece, there are some refreshments here on the table. And here we go, all the traders set up their tables and they're looking very, very pretty here on the right side from me. You can see lovely Tureya arranging her yarn. This is my table. I was so lucky to get such a central location. And even though my table is very small, it looks kind of cute, I think. Let's take a closer look at Tudia's wonderful yarn. I really enjoyed being the neighbor and having such a lovely sunny person next to me to share some stories and some ideas about uh, trading and life and our family life and here was a little corner with all kinds of felted and crocheted goodness I fell in love with these little bees look at the details oh my god this was such hard work but it looks amazing I love it that you can see all of these things that you normally would probably see when you visit someone who have was doing them and they were not for sale they were just for people to admire and I I'm sure they did look how gorgeous this golden table looks over here you can see some knitted samples of shawls in all kinds of gorgeous yarn 
and some of them are one ply mohair some of them are merino but they're all gorgeous and oh my god they were so lovely to squish let's go see my friend Kate from Gumtree Gale Alpacas hi Kate <laughs> she's so lovely I really enjoy meeting her at all the fairs and I really enjoyed seeing her at her farm look at these bundles aren't they a joy oh, look at the, all of these colors I still have some of the yarn that I won in her giveaway that I really have to yes that color is wonderful I really need to make something out of it it would be so warm and squishy because it's all alpaca or alpaca blends look at these natural colors oh i just loved loved touching them and of course i love color but some of you who prefer natural colors i think you would love that she also had some really lovely project bags and look at those slots they're so adorable <laughs> Next to her table is Annette Montgomery's wonderful carded bats. I think they're just nice like that. They shouldn't be taken out or spun. They just look wonderful like that. Look at that. Don't you just want to touch it? And trust me, it looks and it, it feels just as good. Absolutely wonderful. I have some bats that I have to spin yet. These are um, the bobbins for the, I think, Magicraft spinning wheel. Here are some more, you can find some fiber for spinning and some more natural fiber and this is the shorn fleece from a sheep that hasn't been felted or anything or washed. Next to them is Julie Monk's Harney Holy Designs yarns which are always so exquisite and so silky. I have two of her silky skeins and uh, Oh yeah, the shawls that she's making with this are just stunning. She's using lots of beads, you know, because silk is so light, but the beads make the shawl drop and it just looks so wonderful. I love it. Uh, and I think she's hiding from me there, so you can't see her. And here we have Happy Go Needy Helene. Hi Helene! She's busy arranging her things as well. Right, and next to me is Lynn from Fiber to Go. Her yarns are just so stunning, and especially these, these ones are super luxurious with yak and silk and fine merino. And just look at the colors. I was a little bit intimidated to be next to her because, wow, look at this range. I would just if I had all of this yarn, I would probably hang it on the walls and every morning I would come and fondle it in the mornings. All this wonderful, super soft and cloud mohair. Look at that. I was so tempted to buy something, but I knew that if I started I wouldn't stop. I would want this and this and that from everyone. And I really have enough for now. I really need to spin and knit what I have. Look at this gorgeous fiber! This unicorny stuff. I really was tempted to get it. Maybe I'll get it next time I see her. Oh, I fell in love with this color. Oh, I really, really, really like it. And these gorgeous colors. Oh, I think this is what I would want to have one day. This many colors. Here, our general meeting has started and my friend Olga came to join me. Thanks Olga for coming, it was such a pleasure to see you. Thank you to everyone who came and supported me on this special day. Special thanks to Alana, who is the owner of the Lupine and Wool Company shop. And uh, she came to support me and she even bought some yarn, which of course she doesn't need anymore. <laughs> but Okay, it's going. It's one o'clock and we are ready for the giveaway. Thank you to everyone who has stopped by and bought something from our store. And today, one of my, actually it is my first giveaway. I'm so excited. I've seen everyone and oh. I'm not gonna look what color. Okay, red. It's Therese. Congratulations! I'm going to email you and we will arrange 
um, I don't know how, but you can come and check out which game you want and I will give it to you. Congratulations! So exciting. Thank you very much for everyone who participated and came here today. Love you all. Thank you. Bye. Oh my god. It's over. <laughs> what a fun day it has been. I have met so many lovely people and some of you lovely viewers as well, as well as my friend Olga. Thanks for coming. Thanks to everyone who supported me, Alana. Thanks so much. And I've drawn a winner for the giveaway that I had. And it's a lovely Teresa. I probably am going to show you who's the winner right now. Or well, you have seen it. I did not expect so much love from everyone, but I'm really, really grateful. And I hope to see you all in one of the other events like this. I understood that, just a little note to self, that in this hot weather everybody is looking for four-ply yarn, obviously, and not too much um, at the eight-ply, so I have lots of eight-ply left. <laughs> I'm going to be busy uh, working on some beautiful colorways with the thinner yarn now. I also met the lovely Tureya from uh, Die Happy and Lynn from fiber to go who were my neighbors. It was so amazing to meet with them and to see their gorgeous yarn and get inspired and to chat about this and that. It was a very, very uh, enjoyable moment and time. And my cheeks hurt from all the smile and really I'm gonna have a cramp. <laughs> oh, it's been wonderful. The only thing is that I'm worried about my daughter because she's never really spent that much time with her dad alone. And she's been feeling sort of unwell. I'm gonna go rush home and see them. And I miss them. And I wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been watching and yeah, see you in the next episode. Bye. This was Marina. So I have contacted Therese, the winner of the giveaway, and she and I chose these gorgeous skeins for her. This one is called Strawberry. <laughs> and this one is called Juicy Orange. And tomorrow the courier is going to pick them up and deliver them to the lovely owner of these beautiful skeins. I hope, Therese, you have fun knitting them and you enjoy it. This is my baby who is sick today.